Hey guys, this is a short video showing you how to turn in your lab reports for uh, Chem 143. So the first thing is when you did the experiment, we'll, we'll get tools of the trade here, you followed the procedure, which was this link right here, and you filled in your data table by hand. Then, okay, to turn in the lab report, make sure you turn in the laboratory report, which is this link, which is different than that one. Sometimes people get confused and turn the wrong one in. So click on this guy. And when you click on this link right here, it'll open up a PDF file um, of the, the laboratory report to fill out with um, fields in here that you can fill out. Now, the first thing is to make sure that you're using either Chrome or Chromium for your browser. If you're not, this probably won't work, um, but you know they're free and easily available. So make sure you're running Chrome or Chromium, and then just fill this guy out. Notice that these um, letters and numbers here, A1, A2, A3, all these, they're the same as you filled out in your um, data sheet when you were in the lab. So fill out these guys, let's say 21.1. Now, some characters are, are kind of difficult to, to fill in on these PDF forms. For example, the degree sign, it's possible, you can find the Unicode, but it's just easier to use an asterisk instead of degree, that works fine. Make sure you put units in everything though. I'm just making these numbers up, of course. So go in and fill these guys out. Um, in the analysis part, you're going to do a few calculations. Make sure that you uh, you notice the absolute value bars here, for example. So this is going to be a positive number no matter what you get in there, and, and so on. All right, so let's say you've finished filling out this. You're still in Chrome or Chromium. This part, part's important, too. Click on the print. See up there it says print right there in the right-hand top, upper right-hand corner. Click on that guy. And actually, probably won't say that for you originally. You'll, you'll have here for the destination, whatever printer your computer thinks that you're printing to. Make sure you click on Change, and then click on Save as PDF. Okay. Once you've done that, click Save. And it'll ask you where you want to save the file. So tell wherever you want to save it, um, and click Save. Now you should have um, in that, that directory, wherever you told it to save it, a PDF that's filled in. The only thing is if you decide you want to change something later, um, you can't, it's, it's probably going to be difficult to change it in that file, it's possible. But the easiest thing probably is just to fill this guy in again. Um, so you've done it, you're ready to turn it in. So then go back over here and click, it's probably just going to say submit assignment for you. So click on submit assignment, choose file, find it. Um, let's see, I put it here, I think. I put the wrong file there. There it is. So double click on that guy, click submit assignment. And it's done. Now, uh, a real good thing to do is once you've submitted it, click on Submission Details over here. See that? Click on that guy. Then click on View Feedback. And whatever you see there is what I will see when I go to grade it. So make sure that I can see everything that you put in the boxes. And that's it. That'll do it for you. All right.